This is the 2021 Bentley Bentayga V8. It has some new DNA, some design, both inside and out has been changed, and a V8 driveline, which is different than its predecessor, which came out in 2017. There's a lot of changes, and we're going to take it for a ride. Let's go. Welcome back to Car Coach Reports. I'm Lauren Fix. If this is your first time to the channel, we do a lot more than very cool car reviews. We give you first looks of new vehicles as they come out, and we give you car smarts because we believe knowledge is power. Make sure to subscribe and click that little bell so you don't miss anything. This is the 2021 Bentley Bentayga V8. Now, we've seen this vehicle when it came out in 2017. It was kind of polarizing, but just a little history on Bentley. It's 100 years of Bentley, and when Walter Owen Bentley developed Bentley way back when, he was involved in trains, planes and automobiles. Not the movie, but the fact is they call him W.O. And that is what Bentley is all about. The history of planes, trains, and some of those little details you'll see throughout the vehicle, especially when you're looking at the air vents and you're looking at the watch. It's all about being precise, about luxury and the ultimate in luxury and that balance with performance. And that's where Bentley shines. And they've done that when they change all the DNA in this Bentayga V8. Now there is available a W12 and a hybrid coming out in the future, but there are some things you need to know before you run to the dealer to test drive it or look at one. We're going to give you information the dealer is not going to give you. They're going to try and sell you on the vehicle because that's their job. We're going to give you information in 10 different categories so that you have information that you're not going to get at the dealer. We're going to talk about performance, handling, safety, visibility, seating comfort in both rows and talk about the optional third row. We're going to talk about technology, features, design, quality, value, and a car coach reports total. We'll also talk about the competitors in this class and some of the things you need to know because when you walk into a dealer, it's all that excitement and energy and the unbelievable different options that are available. Like I've constantly said throughout this vehicle is about luxury. There are 57 different exterior colors to give you an idea. There's a lot to absorb and we want to showcase that to you. Let's go for a ride. Under the hood of the V8 Bentayga is a four liter twin turbo V8 engine with 542 horsepower and 568 pound feet of torque. Top speed, 180 miles an hour. Well, if that's not enough power for you, there is a hybrid and a speed edition coming out soon. Zero to 60 in this new vehicle is 4.4 seconds. Nice. That's some serious performance. That is in the sport mode. There are four modes. We'll talk about that in handling. But one of the things I really love is the V8 performance in this vehicle. And they've really done a lot to put this together. Now we are talking about a lot of horsepower and one hell of a lot of torque. Now remember that there is a W12, which is even more performance oriented and even faster. And that zero to 60 time on that vehicle is 3.8 seconds. So I'm waiting to see what the hybrid's gonna put out that could be even faster. If you're buying a vehicle like this for performance, that is. What you are giving up when you have a great performance oriented vehicle like this is fuel economy. So the average combined is about 17 miles to the gallon. We've been driving it around and that's about what we're getting as well. Again, it depends if you're launching the vehicle all the time or you're just cruising around. And that makes a huge difference in any vehicle. If you're planning on towing with the Bentayga, which I don't think many people will, there is a hideaway hitch, something to keep in mind, it's optional. But if you are gonna tow, this thing tows about 5,300 pounds. Remember, you're not just hauling the vehicle, you're hauling what's behind you. One thing that's important to note that you can get about 450 miles on a tank. That's a lot, that's a big fuel tank. Gasoline weighs about seven pounds a gallon. So when you're figuring out the weight to horsepower ratio, you have to kind of keep that in mind. This vehicle is meant to be everything. Performance, luxury, handling, technology, and it's all about being bespoke, making it yours the way you want it. There probably aren't two the same when it comes to the V8 Bentayga. One of the things you'll note is that Bentley is owned by VW Group, which is a kissing cousin to Audi. So you're gonna see a lot of Audi-esque technology in here, but this is just a step beyond. I mean, you're looking at not just the luxury, the performance, the handling in every aspect. There's a lot of Audi flavor, but there is so much hand stitch material and everything that makes this vehicle so special as a Bentley. This four liter twin turbocharged V8 engine also has a sport exhaust option. There are so many options on this vehicle, it will drive you crazy. You can start adding all this up, but the results are a vehicle that is yours the way you want it. And it stands out in the crowd and it has the performance to back it up. So for performance, we gave it a 10. 
The handling of the Bentayga is something that's very special. Because of the fact that there are Volkswagen Group underpinnings, you're gonna see a lot of that similar technology. We'll start off with the four drive modes. You've got the sport mode, which we just tested in performance. Then you have the Bentley mode, which is a nice combination of the comfort and the performance, a comfort mode and a custom mode. And all of that allows you to adjust not just your shift points, your performance, your handling and the ride. It makes a big difference all the way around. And I've driven it in all different modes to get a good feel. The comfort is wonderful. You go over a sleeping policeman and it just absorbs everything. The Bentley offers 48 volt anti-roll technology. And that works in conjunction with the self-leveling air suspension. And that's why it rides so well. It's just designed to be that balance of luxury and performance. According to Bentley, Dynamic Ride instantly counteracts lateral forces to keep the tire patch square on the road. The one thing I did note is that when you're coming to a traffic light at a very slow speed, the brakes are really grabby. Now that could be partly because of the ceramic brakes that that's on the option for this car, but you don't have to buy that. It's an expensive upgrade. 21 inch wheels are standard, 22 are optional, and there are 11 different wheel choices. They really give you your choice of everything as you go through each step in our car coach reports ratings you'll see we'll talk about how many different choices there are and it's mind-blowing now you might be asking can you take this vehicle off-road i'm driving it around jacksonville florida sure you can take it off-road will you take it off-road most people aren't going to take this super expensive vehicle off-road but you can and it's designed for that the handling overall is great and as expected as far as connectivity to the road I think it's got good balance. It's missing a, in a few points, but overall, when you're looking at a vehicle like this and the size of this vehicle and what it takes to get this vehicle, having good contact to the road, good brakes, good handling, and good ride, they did a phenomenal job. I wouldn't expect anything less from Bentley, and for handling, it earns an eight. The Bentley is all about safety, and that's part of every vehicle that's on the road today, but they've added a lot of great safety features that come in different packages. Standard for the Bentley when it comes to safety is front collision warning, city speed detectors, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian radar detection. The 2021 Bentley also has a touring specification package, which includes even more safety. And this is one of the things I keep talking about, that these should all be standard, especially at this price point. When you start adding all this in and charging additional fees, it starts to get expensive. There is a touring specification package that adds additional safety. That would include blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, lane change departure, adaptive cruise control, and that also includes the steering assistance and automatic headlights with night vision, which is really nice, and of course, a head-up display. Now, when you go to the other package, which is the city specification package, it includes Park Assist, which is an around view camera, which is a top down view, a pedestrian warning, rear cross traffic warning, and city safeguard. So you have to buy up for each package of safety. I find that kind of frustrating. You would think that a car that's in the $200,000 range, by the time you add all these goodies in, that it should include safety. When you look at cars like Honda and some of the everyday cars, that include safety as standard. Now I understand that, that costs money, but I think that should be standard on all the vehicles and the ability to shut it off. I think that would make it even more interesting when it comes to the price point. When it comes to safety, the new Bentley V8 earns a nine. As we're driving down the highway, it's really important to look at visibility. Out the front, you have a good size windshield. You can see the ground. On a vehicle of this size, no problem seeing the ground. The window sills are a bit high. This is like where you put your arm. It's just a bit high, but that's part of the look of this vehicle. Uh, but I always tell people that's also important. Looking out the back, you can see there are three headrests and people could sit back there at any time. Now, if you've got the third row option, you're gonna have even less visibility and the limitation is there because of the design of the vehicle and we'll cover that next, so you wanna stay tuned for that. But one thing it doesn't have, and I'm actually surprised with today's technology that this rear view mirror is just that, a rear view mirror. It should be a camera. It should have the ability to switch to a camera. That would be awesome. That would take this to that whole next level of bespoke, which is what this is all about. So you're looking at visibility, you've got your round view camera, you've got your backup camera. There's a lot of things that other vehicles have, like if you look at the Lincoln or the Cadillac, that this vehicle does not have. Changing lanes, pretty simple. I had to lean forward. The side mirrors are good size. 
and that's also important. But when you're looking at visibility as a whole and how it compares to other vehicles in this category and what they offer, this vehicle's visibility score is an eight. When you're looking at seating comfort, it is a top priority. There should be adjustable height seat belts in any vehicle that's in this price point. I mean, just comfort is everything. These seats have, I couldn't even tell you how many different way adjustable. It's gotta be somewhere around 30. When you press the button that's on the lower side of the seat, right on the side of the seat where you would usually adjust a, a seat, it has five different adjustable settings with 10 different intensity ranges. So you can do lumbar, you can do wave, you can do stretching. This is really good on long road trips. I do a lot of long road trips, 15 to 20 hours at times. And so it's really important that you're comfortable. And I tell people that all the time. Now there is tons of adjustment. And one adjustment that a lot of vehicles don't have is the thigh support. That's the distance between your, obviously your hip and your knee. That is an important adjustment because some of the vehicles that are in the luxury market have very short seat bottoms in order to meet everybody's needs when it's just easier to offer that adjustment and make it easier for everybody. So that plus the adjustment on the headrest, the back and multiple adjustments on the side bolsters, fabulous. And it's driver and passenger side. It's not just one side, it's both sides. And again, at this price point, it should be. Let's take a look at the second row. As expected, there is plenty of headroom. If you're over six feet tall, you wanna sit back here and see how comfortable it is for you. Also note tons of knee room. I set this seat on the passenger side for me and I'm 5'8". As far as shoulder room, this vehicle is designed in three different configurations. You can get two bucket seats in the back, sort of like in an Urus, which makes this a four seat vehicle. You can get the bench seat, which we have here, which is a five seat vehicle, or you can get a third row in back, which would be very tight. Most dealers are not ordering them. So if you do want a third row, keep in mind, it's really designed for children and you will have to order that because that's not something that they're going to be keeping in stock because it is a bit tight back there for adults, but that makes it a seven passenger seating. So it all depends on how you configure it. Now pulling down this center armrest where there's plenty of room for another person is two cup holders, different what you'd see in the Audi, which has those stupid plastic things in front. So this is really nicely done. Behind the seats are two really nice vents. And of course your high-end audio system because we want everyone to have good sound and then two vents and your five inch tablet we talked about in technology there is also a vent in what's called the b pillar that is adjustable so you can make that work for you as well so overall they've really thought about a lot of details there are screens blinds available for the sides if that's what you want there are blinds available for the back there's a lot of options Overall, when it comes to seating, this vehicle has heated rear seats. You can get ventilated rear seats. And of course, these are vehicles that also offer the optional reclining seats on both sides. Why is that important? If you've got a child safety seat, you want to have this so that the seat sits properly or a booster seat, or maybe you just want to take a nap. Just set the seat back and just relax and go for a ride and have somebody drive me. That's not going to happen <laughs> for me anyhow. But for you, that might be an option. When you're looking at seating overall, it earns a nine. When it comes to technology, there is a lot of it in this Bentley. Now you'll see some of this similarity to the Audi virtual cockpit, but instead of it being the smaller gauges, it leaves the gauge on the left. It's kind of neat because it allows you to adjust what you want, the vehicle itself and its fuel economy, miles, what you get is not just the information on the vehicle, you also get audio. And well, one of the things you can do is you can change so you can get the different views so you can get the information. Going to the next screen is your phone for Apple CarPlay, which I have my phone set up. You can also see there's a change in what the gauges look like. Nothing big with the this particular setting. This is your navigation. So what you're looking at is a center screen between the gauges of the map. That's not unusual. We've seen that before. But like Audi has, it turns that whole screen in front of you into a map. And it doesn't on this particular vehicle. It leaves you this gauge here with the miles left on the tank, your information that it's currently in comfort mode, and also the ride height right there. I don't know if you can see that, that's the ride height. And I love how it sort of, instead of it having just a gauge, it's all completely digital, very well designed. If I change the drive mode to Bentley, it doesn't do much other than change it to a little B that's right there. And then if you go to sport, it does the same thing in the same spot. No gauges, no like, amazing design change like you see in some of the sports cars, but it doesn't need to. It's a Bentley. 
One of the things that is not technology is this beautiful Breitling clock that has Bentley right there in your face. Note that the logo that is part of the Bentley design is right here, built into the air vents as well as the clock. These poles are from an airplane and you pull them out, it's on. When you push them in, it's off. Really nicely designed. Of course, that's all part of the class of Bentley. Now going to the center screen, it is 10.9 inches and it offers wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, which is standard, but that's not that unusual. It's not like that's something that makes it the buy. Uh, when you go to all these different settings, if you go to this side, swipe it to the right, you get your radio station, you can customize this, your phone, and of course, where you are. Now going the other direction, you've got your radio, which includes some pretty impressive audio. And we'll talk about that in the features, so you wanna stay for that. You've got your media, your navigation. This is the factory navigation. You can see it's pretty cool, actually. And you have the ability to zoom in and out. You can use your finger on the screen if you wish, or you can uh, use the dials however you want to do that. Now, this is one of the things that I think is important that people don't think about. First off, there is no multimedia button that is behind the shifter like you would see in an Audi. It is here or it is on the buttons that are here. So you've got your phone, your navigation, your home, your radio, and your media. So that's here. So this allows you to do that. You can do your messages as well. The information on your car is right here. All, it's all digital. It's a, very, a little bit slow on the processing. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that it's not faster. Uh, but you can get your vehicle status and get some information. It'll tell you its ride height. You can adjust it off-road. Isn't that interesting? Who's going to use this thing off-road? I want to know. Put that in the comments below. How many people have off-roaded a Bentley? I know it can do it. There's no question in my mind, but who's doing it is the question. And then of course, you've got your vehicle settings for sport, for Bentley dynamics, for comfort, and then of course, custom. And you can edit that. And when you hit the edit button, it'll actually give you different edit settings. So you can pick your engine, your gearbox, your ride and handling, and your steering feel. So you can pick, I like the sportier feel. Let's change that. Okay, so as we go back, You've also got other things. You can continue to go back on the buttons. But if you go further down, you say, well, what else does this have? This has your Apple CarPlay. In this case, this is Bluetooth connection. You've got your phone. There's my phone connected. And back to navigation. So there's a lot of neat things that are available. We'll talk about audio and features, but there's quite a few features. Of course, Sirius XM, AM and FM. And of course, you can set up your media however you want. But the audio system in this vehicle is amazing and it's to die for and if you like the best how could you like anything better than the name system and we'll show you that in a moment so when you're looking at technology overall all the different settings that are available and of course this is not full of overdone tech this is useful technology the rear seat passengers also get a remote control five inch tablet that controls the audio, the navigation, as well as some interior lighting, window shades, and of course, heated seats and air ventilated seats. So this has got the air cooled seats here and you can decide what you want. And so you've got your blinds. If you want to choose the blinds that you would like, and this would cover the panoramic roof. Very nicely done, actually. Lighting, Apple CarPlay. So if you want to change anything, your seats, this allows you heated in this case, but there are optional air-cooled seats in the back seat as well. A lot of neat options, but overall, it's a little bit slow to me as far as response rate. I do like the updated infotainment system, but overall, when it comes to technology, it's a little bit slow for this price point. And for technology, it earns a nine. There are a ton of features in the Bentley, and I think one of the key features is making it bespoke which means you make it your own. You customize it the way you want it. Lots of colors, lots of interior choices, and so many, I'll give you an idea. There are 57 exterior paint options in the extended color range. The range of the veneers, the aluminums, the 11 leather colors, and top quality materials are like no other. That is why Bentley is all about making it your own whether it's this color combination. I saw one in the showroom that was blue with a cream interior. I mean, it's an amazing color palette that is absolutely fabulous. Bentley's signature audio includes an optional name. That's N-A-I-M audio. If you're really not into audio, you should look this up. Super impressive, 1,780 watts, 
20 channel amplifier with 20 speakers with advanced audio. That is impressive sound. And looking what's in front of you, Bentley has five different steering wheel options. There's nothing unusual about what's in front of you. On the left, this is the ability to change those different modes here that are in the center. We talked about that. And then over here, you have the ability to dial up and down, whether you're dialing in and out on your zoom, and of course your view. And then over here, you've got your navigation, your heated steering wheel, and your volume control. You can ask Bentley for directions or whatever it is. It's very good with natural speech. You've got your paddle shifters here for plus and for minus and then of course you've got your normal stocks with wiper blades on the one side and turn signal on the other nothing unusual on the left you have another one of these really cool vents pull is open push is closed very classy very well done and the materials in this car are spectacular you can feel the leather you can see the real stitching this is not anything manufactured in any way shape or form every single thing that you look at in this vehicle is absolutely priceless now I have to say that's part of the price and you are paying for that. And that's true with their competitors when you're looking at the Rolls Royce calling in the Lamborghini Urus, the Mercedes G-Wagon, and there's a couple of others. If you're going to be paying those Range Rover or SVR prices, you're going to be expecting nothing but the best. Again, we go back to this really awesome vent with the Breitling watch and the two vents. Very, very high end. Everything is real. This is like real, not piano black. It's not like it's something manufactured. It's real and it should be at this price point. All the gauges and all the dials have this really nice knurling on them for your fingers. And I think they're just done so much more than what you see in other cars. Just super classy, especially when you're looking at this Bentley logo, which is actually your shifter. So it's really nicely done, really well designed. This is for your park assist, your parking brake, and your auto hold. In front of you, you've got a wireless charger. I've got one of my phones on here right now. It's just charging away. You've got two cup holders, nothing unusual. This is hill descent. This is your handling or adjustment for performance, sport, Bentley, comfort, custom, and this is the coolest start stop button right there. And the auto off, which I leave in the off mode because I don't need to save that tablespoon of fuel. It's just a personal thing. Little spot for your glasses. I put my glasses there and that's for traction control. Inside the glove box is another 12 volt charging port and two USB-C connections, not regular USB, these are USB-Cs. And that's the same thing that they have in back, really well thought out and designed. Just look at all this beautiful stitching that you can get. It's just fabulous, it's real. You can get it any style that you want. There's so many choices when you look online, you will be surprised. Really just every single detail, whether you're talking about the spectacular panoramic sunroof, which has a shade, and it looks just like a Porsche Cayenne. Happened to own one, so I'm really very familiar with the style on this. Really nice. When you're in Florida, you want it closed. When it's icky out, you want it open, get a little sun in. And of course, that is a movable sunroof as well. You can lift it up. Multiple stages. Really thought about a lot of details. And everything is just so polished. What is a little frustrating that you have to buy a lot of options. Like if you want the double visors, it's part of a summer package. It also includes the ability for the blinds and back to go up because you would not want someone to get too much sun or get too hot in the vehicle. And those are some of the cool features that are part of this vehicle that a lot of people won't see because they're looking at all the goodies and the performance, but there's so many different settings in here. And as you go over, you can see your favorites, your users, and help. There's, of course, the owner's manual built in, but they really thought about all these different things. And you're looking at the climate, like I said, besides the massaging seats, I mean, that is just, the graphics are fabulous. And they explain what everything does and where the vents are. And that's part of what people expect. Also, you'll note up here, when you press this button, it gives you the ability to adjust certain things, such as the air coming down, the filtration, you can set alarms, there's just so many things. Of course, you've also got for your garage door openers, that's there too. Overall, when you're looking at the features of this vehicle, they did not miss a thing. And it definitely deserves a 10. 
The new DNA and the design of the Bentley Bentayga V8 is not different than that of the W12 or the hybrid that's coming out. What you are seeing is the unlimited choices, the luxurious details, and all the different choices. One thing that you're not gonna change is this beautiful Bentley logo right there in front so everybody knows that you're driving one. And honestly, if I had this car, I'd make sure you can see it too. Uh, the trim on the grill and the grill itself is chrome. It also comes in black or in body color. Those are some of the choices that you have that you don't get on many vehicles. The grill itself is functional. When you go down here, this functional grill is black. And the reason it's black is if it picks up bugs and dirt, you're not going to see it. But it also defines this massive grill. And all of your details are down here for the splitter. And you've got your sensors on both sides. One of the things that's extremely distinctive on this car versus its predecessor is these amazing headlights. They remind me of a Swarovski crystal. They're just fabulous. They're all cut in. They are functional. They're LED lights, both front and rear. But the detail in the driving lights are really impressive and just shine. And use this vehicle at night, which I have in very dark areas, this vehicle lights it up. They're automatic headlights, of course, that would be standard on a vehicle like this. But just the whole design concept is fabulous. Standard is 21 inch wheels. These are 22s, they're optional. This vehicle is fully loaded, so we have to keep that in mind. We'll talk about that in value because it's important to note that you can add this thing up, a vehicle that starts at $177,000 is in that high luxury point, but when you start adding on all the goodies, like the nicer wheels, and there are 11 different wheel options, suddenly the price gets kind of high. One thing to note is this Bentley logo. On the other side, you can see it as a B, but if you take a look at this, this is the Bentley B that is stretched out, very luxurious, very stylized. This vehicle has the V8 designation to remind you which engine it has. There's also, of course, the hybrid and the W12. This beautiful chrome strip that runs all the way back to the rear wheels. Also note the chrome trim around the windows, not unusual, but having chrome in the door handle, that's a nice little touch. And of course, you can lock the door and unlock the door by just using your hand because the key is in your pocket or you can use your phone as the key. One of the options you can get is privacy glass for the third row, but you can also get it just to protect what's your valuable that's in your trunk. Note as you go further back, it's got a nice rear splitter on the top and this is very much Porsche Cayenne-esque. I see a lot of that Audi Porsche design in here. Remember, they are part of the same family, it's VW Group. Working our way around to the back, you'll notice that the LED taillights have those same cuts in them that you see in the headlights. Really nicely detailed, they're LED, they do stand out. Note that in the current Bentayga, they have taken the license plate and moved it down between the markers on the bottom where it used to be up high. I think it's a nicer place to be. I also like the fact that it's very clean, the Bentley logos here as well as the name. The black detail strip is nice, it's a piano black. I would have assumed a matte black would be better because remember, you Get a lot of dirt. We've been driving this vehicle around. It has picked up some dirt. Also, sport exhaust is an option that you can get. It just makes it sound a little bit better. And of course, those chrome tips make you feel like you have something that's a little bit more performance oriented. I did note that on this wiper blade, I'm seeing this on Cadillac, but I haven't seen it in every brand, is they're tucking this wiper blade arm underneath this wing. And the reason they're doing it is to protect it, but also give it a cleaner look and better airflow. So when you look at the design for the new Bentley, it deserves a nine. When you're looking at the quality of this vehicle, it can be said that there is not anything better. You've got the best paint quality you can get, the best panels, the build quality is all hand built. This vehicle is super impressive. And it's not just the detail and the paint and the interior pieces, it's the stitching, it's the leather quality. And when you touch it, you can tell it is the best leather that's available on the market. The Bentley has knurled handles and knobs that are just like a watch. And you can see the precision and the detail that's put into this product. If you go to a Bentley dealership, you'll get to see all of that and touch it yourself so you can make the choices because this vehicle is all about being bespoke, which is all about whatever you want. So for quality, it earns a 10. Coming around to the back, you can see we put some gear in here, my camera cases, and we went shopping just to show how much space there is. Without the third row, you have 17.1 cubic feet of storage. It's quite a bit. You can fold down those second seats. They are a 40 on each side and a center that makes it 40, 60, 40. There's a lot of combinations. The bottom line is when it comes to the total storage, it's impressive. There is a spare tire underneath this cover as well. And when you're looking at the competition, it's coming in at $177,000. That brings you into that Land Rover Range Rover category. It's Mercedes G-Class. You're also looking at the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, which is expected. But another vehicle in this category is the Lamborghini Urus. Now, I was at the dealership picking this vehicle up. 
The dealer said to me, how does it compare to an Urus? And this is what I told him, and I think this is really important. If you own a Porsche 911, you probably own a Cayenne. If you own a Gallardo, you probably have an Urus. When you own a Bentley, they may have another vehicle. But this is such a premium vehicle that you could make this your everyday driver and your performance car, especially if you go with a bigger motor. Overall, this vehicle had $60,000 of options on it, and it wasn't even fully loaded. Typically, we get fully loaded vehicles. So you're talking about a $238,000 car. So when you're comparing this to the other vehicles and what's in this category, and that opens up a lot of doors because there's a lot of competition in that price point. For value, it earned an eight. The 2021 Bentley Bentayga V8 is obviously one of the most prestigious vehicles to have on the planet. It's all about luxury, like I keep saying. It's all about making it your own and making it bespoke. But when you look at the competition, it can get very expensive. Now, some of the pros love the new style. Big improvement, and I think there's still a little bit more that needs to be done that's missing. And we talked about that in each category. In addition, I think that the performance is fabulous, and the handling still feels a little disconnected to me, and the brakes are a touch, a bit touchy. When you're looking at the vehicle as far as seating, it'd be nice if the back seats weren't so flat, but it really is comfortable and they're heated. It'd be nice if they were ventilated. Again, that's an option. And that's one of the cons as well. Any of these vehicles, when you start adding on all the different packages, it gets very expensive. Oh, you want double visors. You know, it's an extra price, but it comes with other things. So you have to start looking at that. Sometimes it's better to buy something on the lot or possibly buy a certified pre-owned. But if you're looking to spend the money and you have the money, you need to order it the way you want it. That's like, in my opinion, the only way you should have it. Very impressive vehicle. Huge improvement. I wasn't the biggest fan over the previous Bentayga, but this one really is impressively better than what was before. The 2021 Bentley Bentayga V8 has a total Car Coach Reports rating of 90. We've driven all the competition to the Bentayga. It's listed down below and there are links to those videos. You gotta check those out before you make a decision. And don't forget to check with your insurance. I'm sure the insurance rates are dramatically different between each vehicle. Also my book, Lauren Fix's Guide to Loving Your Car. There's a link down below. You should have a copy of that on your bookshelf. Check out our podcast, Total Car Score with Javier Mota and Carl Brower. And if you got value from this video, make sure to give it a like and a share. Put your comments down below. We want to hear what you think. Do you like the changes in the new Bentayga? Would you own this? Are you going to wait for a certified pre-owned or did you buy something else? What did you buy? We want to open up that conversation so we can all learn something. And it's always great to hear your questions. Now, if I didn't answer it during the video, I will answer it in the comments down below. There's more content at carcoachreports.com in English and in Spanish. And we put up some very cool information you won't see anywhere else on my social media, all platforms at Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.